I love it. I love it. We have got some important announcements to make that I'm sure you all are excited to hear about. Um, we're going to start off with Sunshine Committee. If the Sunshine Committee is going to do something, why not do it when we almost everybody? So um, I am here today because how many of you know or don't know about the Sunshine Committee? Does anybody not know what the Sunshine Committee does? Tell us. Thank you, Emily. I will tell you. So Sunshine Committee, um, we try to keep up with what's going on with our agents. And if an agent is in need of okay. someone. So I know you're glad you have that. Sit, or maybe they've had a death in the family, or let's say even our new agents are that come in. We just like to put it out there that we're here for you. So if you have any questions or concerns, or if you guys know of anybody that's maybe having a difficult time and needs some love, needs some support, that's what we're here for. To bring sunshine, that's right. I want to introduce um, my committee for this year. Um, and they're just going to stand up um, so you know who they are. And hopefully everybody knows who, who everybody is. But Tori Apple, Tammy Fox, Marcy Root, Susie Lambeth, Amanda Lynn Cannon, Susan Shelton, Jodan Baker, and Autumn Bolton. You're here. So, if you guys are aware of somebody that is in need of, of whatever, please contact us and let us know so that we can reach out and make sure that they're being taken care of. Um, and then I'm just going to end with one last note. Whew, this is going to be a hard one. I've been in the business for um, since Mike and I moved here back in 96. And um, one of the um, biggest people that we had the opportunity to work with was Judy Baker. And Judy Baker um, has cancer and is not expected to live but a couple more days. And she has been a resource for us agents and has always looked out after us agents. And um, so I wanted to, and I'm not trying to offend anybody, but I want to just have a group prayer meeting today for her. And I'm going to ask Christy to come up and give us that prayer. If you don't mind. Thank you. Let's pray. God, we just um, first thank you for who you are and for how much you love us. And um, God, I just thank you for this opportunity to be together. I thank you for this family and for all the blessings that you have given us. Um, and God, right now, we just lift up our friend Judy to you. And God, we thank you for her life. And we just speak healing over her, whatever that means or looks like. God, we just ask you to touch her right now and um, put your arms around her, God, and just comfort her and strengthen her and her family and just help them to feel your love and your presence. And God, we thank you that you're in the business of doing that. And so we just ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. And if anybody wants information on how you may possibly send a card to her or call her, then let me know. Thank you so much, Carrie. Thank you, Christine May and Sunshine Committee for bringing the sunshine. We have some amazing ladies in the house today that have kept your bellies full and really brought it. Come on up and share with us Union Home Mortgage. Real fast, every other um, third Thursday, these ladies sponsor a mixer, right? 
location TBD usually closer to the event. Um, we try to hear your wants and um, and your favorite places to go. So don't miss them in June will be the next June 3rd Thursday agent mixer. We have a May 3rd Thursday agent mixer as well. Good afternoon. We're so excited to be here with you guys. Look at this great group. Oh my gosh. Uh, even standing room back there. So beautiful. We're glad to be here. We appreciate your partnership. We've got some great programs to go over with you guys. And we'll take it away from there. It's so good to see all your smiling faces today. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to sponsor your team meeting today. We've got some great programs. The first is Ready, Set, Lock, which is so important in today's market. It's for your buyers. They don't have to have a property address. We can lock them for 90 days. The first 60 days, they're out looking. The last 30 is closing. In a perfect world. <laughs> yes, in a perfect world. That's exactly how it's going. Perfect world, 60 days, right? Uh, it's for all your core uh, programs, conventional, FHA, USDA, and VA. And it goes hand in hand with what Teresa's going to tell you about. Right, we also, on top of that, one thing that we want to run your borrowers through is the Ready, Set, Home program. And what this is, is we actually underwrite them fully. We get all of their assets, all of their income, verifications of employment, everything up front whenever we lock in their rate initially. And we get them a certified letter stating that they are completely approved. The only thing pending is title work and appraisal. Other than that, they are ready to go. So with that certification letter, that will make your borrower's offer a lot more solid. That's what we are looking for. Any questions on that? Yes, <laughs> How long does it take to close? How long does it take to close? Um, 21 days is no problem as long as we can get the appraisal back. The appraisal is the whole hold up at this moment. But yeah, I plugged one less than 21 days whenever I did it as a TVP. <coughs> you do not have to have a property up front. We are waiting some appraisals. If you've got a conventional borrower who's putting 20% or more down, and our automated underwriting sees it as comparable to the other homes within the area that have recently sold, we may very well get an appraisal waiver. So it needs to be a strong borrower. If you come with only the six from support, it may not happen. But if it's a strong borrower, strong assets, strong reserves, and a strong house appraisal or you know, estimated appraisal, then you'll be good. What I have done in that situation, if I've got someone, I think the other day I had them put a 30 to 40% down. I actually lowered the appraised value. So purchase price was 400. I did my appraised value at 350. I got my waiver. When I moved back up to 400 and 400, I did not get my waiver. So we can manipulate those numbers as far as the appraised value to make that work and see if we can get that. Influence, influence. Yeah. <laughs> Creative thinking. Creative thinking. And I will add too with our uh, with our ready set home program, you don't have to lock the rate. You know, we don't have to have the, the rate locked in. A lot of us right now, we're going ahead and getting income asset documents. We're sending all borrowers, you know, great borrowers, borderline borrowers. We'll go ahead and send them all through underwriting. Our underwriting is like 24, 48 hours. That way, as Teresa said, we're able to give you a certificate that says, you know, this borrower has already gone through all of underwriting. They just need to find a property. So it's just contingent upon, like Teresa said, title and appraisal. But you don't have to necessarily do the lock-in shop and lock in the way. Uh, but we are starting to, we just see that as a benefit. You know, if you're able to make an offer, and say, you know, this borrower has gone all the way through underwriting and they're certified, especially too with like FHA borrowers. You know, I know there's you know, a little bit of hesitancy about, you know, taking a, an FHA loan, you know, but if it's not an older house that wouldn't have like appraisal issues with FHA, if a borrower has gone through underwriting 
you know, completely with already set home program. And if it's FHA, they're good as well. I mean, they're as good as a conventional one. That makes sense. Any question about those? Is that the yes. new as good as gold? As good as a conventional one. As good as a conventional one. Conventional one being gold. Exactly. Exactly. So interest rates um, are, you know, they're 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 back to where they were. They're back to where they were before twenty. And 20. They're back to where they were before twenty and twenty one. In the fives, low five still. So rates are still really good. Right? Uh, so you can see up on the screen, almost five and eight, um, up to five and two point seven five with APR, uh, and on down the line. So rates are still really really good. And like we've talked about, these programs are going to help ensure your borrowers, your buyers, that they're going to get that deal. Hopefully, um, one thing to also mention that we mention every time we talk to you guys, but there are a lot of new faces in here today that we haven't seen in a while or haven't seen at all. To new folks, um, is our recast program. So it is a conventional loan that you have to let's say that you want to make an offer on a house that you haven't sold yours yet. If you qualify, if your borrowers qualify. We're just to put 5% down on the new house and qualify with both house payments. We'll close on that new loan. Then they put your other house on the market, or once it sells, you can pay that loan down to 80% or whatever you would have had if you had sold it first, and we'll re amortize the payment, match the new balance, and cancel the new line. So you're where you were if you had sold your house first. It's not a loan that you say, oh, I want to do the recast loan. It's a straight up conventional loan with the recast is a caveat that we have that allows you to do that after the fact. So it's a great program. I know there's been several of you in here that have made your borrowers utilize that. Some of you yourselves have utilized it with recast and purchases and things like that. So it's a great, great, great caveat to our programs. Question on that? I will add a lot of companies uh, require the PMI to stay on loans for at least two years. That's another really good benefit of, of going with Union Home Mortgage or sending your clients to Union Home Mortgage is we service our own loans. We do not sell our loans. And that's how we're able to offer the recast feature. Um, and PMI, you know, be removed. A lot of, you know, a lot of banks, a lot of uh, mortgage companies out there do not have the recast feature. And literally, PMI has to stay on there for two years. Or until 78% loan value. So, definitely a big plus, you know, with us servicing our own loans. And you're able to do that as many times during the lifetime of the loan with us as you want to. Just a one time $250 fee each time just to re record the new loan and everything down the road should be. But it's a great, definitely a great program. Gives your buyers, um, you know, a lot more flexibility, you know, when they're purchasing to you know that you know, they could be in the same situation as if they had their house sold initially. Not that you have to make the same situation as if they had their house sold initially. Not have to make a contingency offer being the biggest thing. Absolutely. Does anybody have any mortgage related questions for us or requests? Anything we can do to help you guys, mortgage wise? Thank you so much. We appreciate your partnership so much. We do have a drawing. Um, want to hold that at, at the end? Give it, yeah. So we'll hold that at the end if you didn't get your card put in. All right. Be sure to do that. And these ladies are better than a conventional loan, they are platinum. Thank you so much. I don't know if we share that at all. Thank you for your support of our business. Um, a lot of terms were thrown out there today. So if there's anything that you didn't understand, be sure to, to approach them. Um, they'll be happy to explain to you like what's a recast. There may be some in the crowd that are not aware of that. Um, and they are more than happy to share their knowledge um, and skills. Yeah. And so your use of heritage title has contributed quite an amount to the Sunshine Fund. Um, for one, it also added to an event like the country club has never seen before. Uh, and here we have Carla Campbell here to share a little bit about heritage this morning. Thank you. 
Good morning, everyone. It's great to see you guys again. I'm Carla Campbell. I'm the agency marketing officer with Heritage Title. Um, it's been a couple months since I've been here. Um, I just wanted to point out a couple of things. Um, I brought, again, something that's super important, which is how to do referrals to Heritage Title in three simple steps, which was actually the brain. This, this little document here is the brainchild of, of, of Scott Taylor. So I'm glad he's here today to hear me talk about it. Um, this document is super important because this office um, is not really utilizing the um, referral lookup pro like process that we have. And what that means is when you guys have a customer that goes under contract and you're ready to send that email to the attorney saying you need to pick a closing date, we would love it if you guys would CC Heritage Title if your buyer has selected us for the title portion of the closing. You just cc info at heritagetitellc.com and all that's on there. And if you guys do that, we will, um, within about two hours, do a lookup of the prior policy and see if we have it. Um, we probably have about a 40 something percent market share in this area, which means investor title who's our underwriter has the prior policy and we can provide it to your attorney. And the reason why this is so helpful is first and foremost, your customer could get almost a 50% discount depending on what the amount of the prior policy is and the age. That, I mean, I don't know about you, but right now customers want to save money, especially with rates going up. So one, that is a good benefit. Two, it saves the attorney a ton of time looking for the prior policy. And three, if we're able to provide that prior policy, it saves the attorney a tremendous amount of time because they're able to do what's called tack on to the prior and so they don't have to do a 40 year search. If the search is from, you know, the title of the previous policy is from 2020, they really only have to do a two year search. So you guys can imagine what looking at 40 years versus two years in those land record books down at the courthouse, you can imagine how long that takes to do 40 years. So save your customer money, save your attorney time. They will all love you in the end. If you guys can start doing this process, we would love to see more of you guys doing it. Um, and you guys can take those home with you, stick them on your court boards or whatever you have in your <coughs> office. And, you know, you have your transaction coordinators, just um, send those uh, emails and CC us whenever you um, work with your local attorney. And, you know, of course, you know, any attorney you work with can work with us um, as long as they're approved by investors. Another thing that I'm going to, I provided to some agents previously at a different event that we had. But I just want to quickly point out, and I didn't pass these out, but I'm going to have them in the office for you guys. You definitely take a look. Um, I don't know if you guys realize this, but there's two types of owner's policies out there. And the reason I'm bringing this up, super, super important. Right now, it's really difficult to get a survey, correct? Everybody's seeing take, you know, six, eight, 10 weeks if you can even get anybody to do one. So then your customers are not getting survey coverage. Very important. For them to get survey coverage because survey coverage is usually a big area of title problems. If they purchase this enhanced called the homeowners, it's called the Alta homeowners policy, it's an enhanced title insurance policy, owner's policy that covers them for several survey issues that otherwise they get no survey coverage for, they're not getting survey. It also has an inflation rider, so if the property goes up in value for the first five years, it goes up 10% each year, up to 150%. Right now, properties are skyrocketing in prices. You don't want to have a customer call you and say, all of a sudden, I have a claim and I'm not covered for enough because your coverage is for the sales price. If now, a year later, the house is worth another $100,000, they would be short $100,000 if there was a full claim on the house. Does that make sense to you guys? So you don't want your customer being undercovered, just like they're not covered for enough homeowner's insurance. You guys haven't been telling your customers about that. You need to the prior customers talk to me about this. We're going to have these in the office for you. Take a look. If you have any questions, I'm happy to, to talk to anyone about it afterwards. And um, I'm not just in PDFs if it's safe. So, anyway, great to see you guys today. Thank you so much for your time. And <laughs> Thank you so much, Carla, for all you do to support our market center. Put your hands together. We've got some young professionals in the house. The Keller Williams Young Professionals Network here representing. And I will pass the mic over to you. Thank you so much. Well, first and foremost, thank you so much for hosting us. We are so excited to be here. Um, this is some of the leadership team for KWIP. Merrick Jackson is the vice president. 
Aisha Burnett is our membership chair. Ms. Laura Emmerich is our culture and service chair. And then Ms. Samantha Mosley is interim uh, director of finance and our social chair. Um, I'm out and I'm your president. <laughs> <laughs> so what is KWIP, right? So our mission is, well, KWIP's mission is to develop the next generation of leaders. So a lot of your um, upcoming team leaders, operating partners, people who want to go to max coaching, things like that, are currently a part of uh, KWIP. They fast track that journey for you. It's so you don't have to do it alone. Uh, it's committed to impacting members, businesses uh, on a leadership stance, on a financial stance, and through their personal goals. And the beliefs and uh, values are the same as KW's. The perspective is that KWIP is cultivating the future leaders of Keller Williams Realty International through education, uh, professional development, services, wealth building, and personal development. And then we created our own, the Triad chapter created our own mission, vision, uh, values. And we put some things out there for you guys. Our mission through um, the Triad is to develop a community of leaders under 40 that raises the bar in our personal and professional lives and becomes disruptors in a changing industry through collaboration, innovation, education, and social interaction. The vision is to breed leaders, connect like-minded individuals, and provide a platform to share tools and grow collectively in life and in business and move our members from living a life, a successful life to a li living a life of significance. And today I brought this amazing leadership team, y'all. The, the energy with them is off the charts. And we don't have everybody here because there's some people at the KW uh, Kernersville Market Center team meeting right now. But I just wanted them to tell you a little bit about their experiences within KWIP because this is a KWRI thing. Um, we're just representing here in the, in the triad. Um, all right, so KWIP, like she said, is KWRI, uh, it's a community within Keller Williams, which is amazing because not only do we get to uh, bring together the four market centers in our triad, we get to meet people across the country and internationally if we would love to. Um, and we went to me, Wana, Asia, and Mary all went to New York City about four weeks ago for their New York City, New Jersey launch. And it was an, the most impactful totally trip I have ever been on. And I, I mean, I can't even begin to describe what I got out of it, not to mention I did get a $1.3 million referral out of it. Um, <laughs> so that pays for the membership itself. Right? It is, <laughs> yeah, in Manhattan, New York City. <laughs> So that's a little bit about um, my experience with Keller Williams YP so far, um, but we do want to, the goal is to bring all four of our market centers together, which is why we are here. I'm pretty sure that covered your membership. It did, right? it did. <laughs> like, you know, six or seven hundred. <laughs> Well, I'm Laura. I joined KWIP before COVID hit, so it was back in 2020 at Family Reunion in Dallas. And so that was awesome. I got to enjoy the first part of it, and then we kind of all separated. But I'm excited we're able to get back and start going to events again. But I met wonderful people there. You're just, you're able to be with like-minded people and people that are passionate and excited. And it, it just, even since we've started everything in the triad, I feel like my business and like my fire has been really lit because I'm able to have people to talk to that want to do the same thing, that have big goals, and we've just kind of been able to feed off each other's energy. Um, I met wonderful people there. Like she said, referrals have definitely covered membership. You've met people that are in all parts of the world. I've been in California and South Carolina and more that were in North Carolina. So it's just you meet wonderful people that you're able to share this experience with. All right, so I joined KWFP about a month ago, right before New York. We're having a little conversation uh, in the office. And I was like, what the heck, I'll go. I didn't know what I was getting myself into, but I'm glad I did. Um, I am a leader and I love to connect with other leaders and I love the personal development opportunities. Um, we get to understand other markets. We got to tour like a uh, $25 million condo on the sixth year floor in NYC, and that was pretty great. Um, we meet other vendors and then obviously more new referral opportunity. Um, the other great thing as a local benefit is just getting to understand and know other Keller Williams agents that aren't in our office. Like I've met other 
agents in our office I hadn't really socialized with, and then others from Winston. So I think it's great. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm Mayor. I joined with HR about a month ago, and I really do feel like real estate person changed my life. You know, I work in office five seven, and I'm really corporately, and I just got tired of the extremely long hours and being like, okay. You know, so I switched over to real estate the first couple months ago. The market was going insane. You know, there wasn't a whole lot of education at first. And then when I found my feet, it kind of changed all my thought was fine. You know, seeing these people under the age of 30 that are out here making millions, literally, on team, you know, something that we didn't even think of here. Before. Someone's doing the net, yes, under 30 on it. Um, so it's so inspirational to be around people that are inspiring and motivating you in all the different aspects of your life. You know, they want the best life for you, the best life for you, and the financial life for you. You know, there's different programs within KLU Life Group for Education, providing you wealth building opportunities, and, you know, kind of the changing effort of marketing that we're going to We're hosting a class on the 25th on how to use my home to church. You know, we're kind of diversifying, changing all the capacity that we see. So I'm super excited for like being a book for any of y'all telling you and I wonder what I'll do you on board. Hi, I'm gonna go a little bit over the value that you guys see here on the screen. So yeah, yes, your membership is $39 a month or $399 for a year. If you have a team, you can pay $399 and all your members pay $199 for the year. The Raymaker, yeah. Yeah. Correct. And then um, in that membership, Quantum Leap with Gary Keller is included. Your KWIP Leverage Series is included. So that's your 306090, your Success Through Others Career Visioning, which within itself, it's usually like 279. Um, personal growth courses, financial literacy courses, wealth building community and workshops. Uh, the, the list is endless. So with KWIP, you once you sign on, you are automatically put into our the KWIP Facebook group. And on there, you can automatically start interacting with everybody from across the country. It's honestly really, really cool. Like, yeah. I mean, like there's a thousand four hundred <laughs> agents in this. Um, and we all feel like it. It's really uh, fun to interact with each other. And then not only that, but KWIP Triad, our first educational event is on uh, the 25th that we were talking about was with cryptocurrency and the real estate market. And then this Thursday, we are having an event in Kerner, I mean, I'm sorry, in Winston-Salem, and it is from five to seven. I know that's a little bit far away from you guys, uh, and I promise we'll have one in Greensboro soon, but it's a mixer for you know anybody that's here that wants to get to know the leadership team a little bit better, wants to hang out, and it's open to absolutely everybody, all ages, anybody who's interested in knowing more about PWIP. Um, or if you want Oh, I'm thinking in my head. Let's go. Uh, what else? What are what else? Sorry. Oh, we, yeah. Um, <laughs> we are going to Nashville the second through the fifth of um, June. If anybody wants to join, and that's the KWIP uh, National Summit. So that's gonna be really cool. Like you want to see what KWIP is, you need to go to that. Um, anything else that I'm missing, guys? Or lunch. Sure. So our triad launch is going to be November 10th and 11th. Um, we're a big launch. Yes. So everybody, so all the agents from all over that we've been going to these launches in New York and Nashville, they're all going to come to our launch. So we'll have a big party and educational events. Um, that's what we're doing this afternoon. We're going to tour one of the places that we're thinking of hosting it. But it's just going to be a good time to get to network and get along to meet everybody and just kind of really see what it's about and it's local to us. You know, they say that you are the sum of the five people that you hang around with, right? So these are amazing people that I get to hang out with. And when we go to these national events, it are all our lives raised on a different level. So it's really cool to just be around this kind of energy. And I'm truly blessed to have all these people on board. And I can't wait to see what KWIP Triad is going to be here in the next year. So thank you guys so much for having us. Ooh, we do have two big positions that need to be filled if anybody is interested. We're looking for a director of finance and a Burlington ambassador, somebody to represent the Burlington Market Center. 
Um, if you are interested in learning more about that, please, 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 I'd love to talk to you. We'd love to talk to you. We'd love to get to know you. Um, and so, yeah. other than that, and to sign up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I know. I can see the sign <laughs> KWYP.org. KWYP.org. Very simple. Go sign up. <laughs> A-W-Y-P.org. Right here. <laughs> yeah. So I heard a couple of cool things in there. A million nets on a team, right? Under 30, right? And crypto. Enough said. Join the cool kids. A-W-Y-P-N. Thank you so much for being here today. Okay. These fine folks are going to hang out afterwards if anybody has any specific questions. Is All right. 40 and under or 30 and under? 40. 40. Mm -hmm. The net a million oh, on a team. Oh, 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 and the rainmaker. Okay, and the rainmaker guys does not have to be under 40 to do the team membership. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Any questions direct to these lovely people hiding out in the back room over here where the cool kids hide? <laughs> All right. I've got one more um, speaker, Christy May, if you would come right up to the prices, right? Come on down to the prices, right? Um, real quick, um, guess what's coming up next week? Red Day. Red Day. Woo! That means that we get to live out what we talk about, which is being involved in our community. So if you have not gotten your Red Day t-shirt, we only have a few left. They're $15. And um, they're in my office. <laughs> Don't bother me about it, though. Go see Dylan. <laughs> um, and um, we do have a realtor lunch in the same day, and I realize it's always on our red day, but if anybody has time in between there and can go to the realtor luncheon, sign up beforehand and go. Love y'all, bye. Listen, your ALC is rocking the house this year, so if you haven't taken a minute just to give these ladies um, thank you and show some gratitude, please do. They've been amazing. ALC, Associate Leadership Council, that's the voice for you as the agent body. Um, if this may or doing can steer you in the right direction. All right, we want to come on down, team Heather, Andy, Scott. The moment everybody's been waiting for. So, the really awesome thing about KW Central is we have a legacy of growing some amazing leaders whether that's in an agent regard, um, in a regional regard. We've got folks living the life by design down at the beach now in leadership positions. Um, who else am I missing? Matt's coat. Going on yeah. to uh, with what, what they wanted to do. We started here at KW and there's so much opportunity, whether you want to do that locally, regionally, nationally. It's so far as everybody started the same. So First so we have three mega agent uh, applications going, one that's just been officially approved. Um, so super excited about the growth that has occurred. In that gro growth comes transition, right? Um, we'll speak on that for a moment. So some of you, I think most of you know what I do. I, I, as the operating uh, principal, I am the one who bought into the franchise, signed a 300 and some odd page agreement and said yes. Like McDonald's, we would sell burgers and not tacos, and you know, you follow all that. Uh, I'm in the background though, the team leader is the more important role, but I'm doing the financial stuff, um, planning and scheming business wise, and trying to help our office grow. Love this office. I remember when we started with 12 agents in 2000. Look where we are now. So, uh, with that, I became operating principal and didn't have a whole lot of guidance. The previous operating principal was Jenny. Um, and Ariel, becoming the team leader, um, her, uh, she replaced Robin, who had to go, and the region wanted her, and we didn't get much of Robin to help. 
um, what we're doing now is transitioning. I've decided that I'm going to give up operating principle. I'm not leaving the office. I'm here. My license hangs here. I'm still going to be part of the ownership group of the office, but I am going to turn it, it over to Scott Taylor, who was a team leader here many moons ago and has gone on to grow and run a um, bunch of other offices and been very successful. And I think bringing him in here will help our office quite a bit because he's got a lot of resources with his other offices and a lot of experience. And I get to go do what I want to do, which is play around with some money and investments and wealth. And I want to help you guys do investments. I think as real estate agents, we do not take advantage of our own industry. So if you've got a good investment and you need a backer, let's talk. Um, I want to do some more things besides the operating principle. Well, it's time for me to pass the torch. So it's all good. We wanted to tell you guys and make sure you knew I'm still here and I'm going to help Scott. It's going to be a transition because there's lots of paperwork. Mm -hmm paperwork and things you have to do and turn things over. So it's not in one day. And Ariel, I'm gonna let you. Fair enough. So in that transition, I had the opportunity to meet with Scott and um, discuss his vision, which is basically a vision for expansion of market centers in a nutshell, that was to simplify it. Um, I'm a huge expansion fan. I've got an expansion team. And my goal for KW Central was expansion, right? Heather and I had talked about that. Scott's just three or four steps ahead of me. Um, so I was super excited and I was like, I wanna get in his world somehow, some way. Um, in that time frame, I was also um, in the process of becoming a maps coach, which I absolutely love. Um, they asked me to take agent uh, agent clients on. At first, I said, heck no. Uh, and then I found that that's just my world and that those are the people that um, just give me fire and give me energy. Um, so I'm going to be pursuing full-time uh, maps coaching as a role. Um, and I'm not leaving, uh, which is where we enter Mr. Andy Lee. Um, my goal is to stay in a consultant capacity and help the transition go as smoothly as possible until Andy tells me to get the heck out. Um, in that time, I'll stay as interim team leader. I'll still be here and you'll see um, kind of the phasing um, out of my face, hopefully, in one of Andy's. It's younger. <laughs> and taller. And taller. And, and taller. <laughs> you had to stand next to me. Um, so I'll give Andy a chance to speak for just a moment, um, and then we'll jump to Scott, if you'd like to, uh, and then open the floor for any questions. Hey guys, again, I'm Andy Lee, uh, really excited to be here uh, as your team leader. Um, kind of long story short, how it all came together, um, full transparency. I, I was not, going back to work was not in the cards for me. Um, Last year was my second full year in real estate, quadruple my income. Um, so it, like, it wasn't even a thought to go back in the workplace. And um, I was sitting in my quiet time, um, just praying for my business and thanking the God for my business. And he said, Heather the Andy. I said, what? Because <laughs> when I first started in real estate, I was here for like six, eight months, whatever, and I had the privilege of ever and, and I argued with God on it. I said, why? Why do you want me to, why do I? She's with a different real estate firm. I was with a private real estate firm for that. He said, just call her. And I was like, obedience over everything. Um, and I reached out to Heather, and she was like, you want to do much? And uh, I'm like, Sure, I don't know. We're going to talk about that and I'll get what's going on. And I'm just trying to be, be obedient to the calling. And um, she said, Let me tell you what I've been praying about. And I was like, Yeah. So um, fast forward, that's when I got caught up in her spider web. And <laughs> I ended up on the phone. Yeah, y'all are spider web. I ended up talking to Heather and then I talked to Scott. I'm like, Who the heck is Scott? Why am I talking to Scott? And she was like, <laughs> So I told this guy, and she said, oh, we need to meet you. We need to meet with Ariel. And I'm like, well, I don't even know what we're doing. What are we talking about? I've met three people. 
after talking to meeting with all three of them, talking to all three of them, um, it, it was extremely clear why I'm here and what we're going to do. Um, it was it, it was uh, very apparent once I walked through the door for the first couple of days. I was like, yeah, that makes total sense. So I'm happy to be here. I'll, I'll work for you guys. So I'm crazy. I, I don't do boring. I have a good time. So don't. There's nothing too big or too small. Um, anything you need, just let me know, and um, I'll. You guys have numbers and stuff like that. You know, it's whatever. Just don't don't ever hesitate to reach out. Right? And for the next period of time, I'm going to make an amazing executive assistant. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the middle of all that, I reached out to Heather and said, Heather. I love Burlington and I'm certainly not ready to pull the plug and go anywhere and yet I need help and I'm ready to tap and she said you have to call Andy so it was just an amazing culmination um, of events in that time frame. Enter Scott. We are so excited that you're here. I <laughs> I, I, this has been really fun for me today, and I see a lot of faces that I've missed and that I recognize, and I see some, some new people that I'm excited to get to know. Um, joining Keller Williams almost 10 years ago, I told you, what turned out to be one of the biggest blessings in my life. And it really changed my life in many, many ways. It's been such a great place for me to be. Um, and this is where it started. So I was teasing Cindy Dudley earlier. You know, it was when, when you join Keller Williams as a team leader from another company, the agents teach you what Keller Williams is. There's actually no class for that. So um, I learned about our culture and what our company's all about and what it means from you know, from the agents here. And so the people in the Burlington Market Center and the Market Center are very really special to me. And I just love this place. So when Heather and I started talking, and we kind of talked about this on and off for a while. Um, you know, the, the talks got a little more serious more recently, and I just got feeling more and more excited about the chance to come back and be in business with all of you and get to hang out with you guys again. And um, so it's kind of like, where do I sign? So they're a great group of people. It's I feel the same sweet, way. But I know that uh, Scott's going to do some great things to help us be even more successful because we're pretty darn successful. It's an awesome market center. It is. It is an awesome market center. It really is. There you have it. No, the rumors aren't true. I'm not going anywhere. I don't know how many people said you're leaving. You're selling out. We didn't rehearse this. You want to take questions? Oh, yeah, question? let's take questions. So this is Yeah. <laughs> Always. It's hard to say immediately yes and no because there's so many things you have to do. You have to do legal stuff for the state of North Carolina, legal stuff for the region, Keller Williams, legal stuff for national. You know, he's got to decide, um, you know, sign all these things that I've been signing. And, uh, so, yes and no, but we'll work together. You can call either one of us. We'll, we'll be that team for a while until everything gets transitioned over. I won't. Great question. Well, so the question. Come on. Cindy does. I can see it all over the place. What can I do with that? Ooh, that's a thank you. <laughs> I think that things are going to remain the same, so um, we do not ever want to step on any toes. In, in, in our MCA's absence, I have to up here give many, many kudos to Ariel, Mary Holder, Kim Baber for holding down the fort. Russ is doing much better. We we'll get to see him again soon. But we all have different roles for a reason, so. You don't want me to get in the middle of that mess and try to cut checks. I'll mess that up or you know, vice versa. So we're going to stay in our lanes, um, but you can ask us anything, but we may refer you to the person that is in that lane. And hopefully you can have patience with us on that. Thank you.
If I can speak to that real fast, um, as far as the rumors, if you'll just turn people to the source, um, there's, I've heard that, you know, I'm leaving, Heather sold all of her shares. There's a few other, a few other rumors going around. And, uh, and if you've got a question for Heather, go to Heather. Um, if you've got a question for me, just come to me. We've always kept an environment of open communication. So we welcome that. So I have a question. Is this on Zoom? It's Natalie on Zoom, yeah. <laughs> I Who's am that? the voice beyond. Natalie! <laughs> I feel remiss. I don't know who Scott is. I, I need a little bio action. Oh. <laughs> Y'all know each other. I don't oh. know what's going on. I assume you'll want the truth. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. Should I tell them the story? You can, yeah. You want the story? You want the real story? The real story? So if it doesn't take too long. I can probably do it pretty quick. <laughs> I, appreciate your, I, I appreciate your directness. Um, so I was selling real estate in Denver, Colorado, and started in 2005. I sold mostly luxury real estate, um, though I did I did it all. And the truth is, after six years of that, all through the downturn, I started getting pretty burned out. I was not at Keller Williams. I had never read the Red Book, never read MREA. I had never taken a class. You are an Elon graduate. I went to Elon, so I knew this area. And the truth is, I just got pretty, pretty fried on the business. So what was the market like in 2008, 9, 10, 11? My business was pretty good. So we had a little team and we were the number three team in the Denver, Colorado Board of Realtors. Denver's a little bigger than Charlotte to give you some perspective. And um, I got to work with some Denver Broncos football players and Colorado Rockets baseball players and all this really cool stuff. And I was really unhappy and I had no leverage. I had no systems, very entrepreneurial. So we any, has anybody taken the six personal perspectives? You know, the section on going from E to P, I was living in E. I was just entrepreneurial and tired. And I shut the business down. So to give you an idea, I, I sold the biggest listing in the Denver MLS in January of 2011. And at the end of that year, I shut the business down and walked away from it completely, moved back to North Carolina. And this is how bad it was. My phone rang one day and it was the LA Dodgers second string third baseman. And he said, I just got traded to the Rockies. And I heard you can help me find a house. And I said, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> call this guy. And then I changed my phone number. <laughs> I literally called that day and changed my phone number. And I was looking for a business to buy, trying to figure out what I was going to do next, traveling, helping a friend on his farm here, like just kind of hanging out. And I met these people. Patty Teague and Heather McAndrew and Mike Zulo at the time, and they were looking for a team leader and they took a chance on me and I came in here and I learned from you guys and I had to learn a lot about leadership and I had to learn our company and I had to learn our systems and I, I read everything I could and I went to every class I could. You guys may remember, we'd, I'd introduce the instructor and then I'd run to the back of the room and sit there and take notes all day. And that was how I learned everything. And I think things went pretty well. Within a couple of years, I got to partner with Joe Williams in the Raleigh Market Center, in the North oh, Raleigh Market Center, the co-founder of Keller Williams. So Joe and I are partners in two market centers now and took that market center over and it's done pretty well. I took over the Columbia Market Center in Columbia, South Carolina as operating partner there. Um, leveraged that to launch another market center in downtown Columbia. So I've done two things. I've done a turnaround market center now, and I've done a fresh launch from scratch. The launch was way easier, <laughs> way easier. And, uh, um, and then I just took over the Cary Market Center as operating partner there in December. So I was in a meeting with Gary Keller a couple of years ago. There were about 80 of us operating partners at the home office. And Gary said something, we were talking about operating partners having multiple market centers and being able to bring some scale to what we do and provide resources to, to the agents and to the market. And Gary said something that got really got me thinking about what could be built. He said, it would be fine with me if all of the operating partners in the whole company fit in this room one day. And there are 200 seats in here, he said. 
So I kind of started thinking about that. And there are a handful of people in the company doing, you know, doing what I'm doing now, which is pulling together multiple market centers in an area so that we can start to operate a little more like a big company and provide resources, still keep our own identity and have the market center be, be what it is and have its own culture and identity, and yet share the resources and scale that some of our competitors have that we, we've never really had before. So um, I've got some big plans for what I think we can do and, and provide you with help and resources that you probably haven't had. And um, I'm really excited about all that. So that was my Kevin, background. So answer so your question. My, yeah, my follow-up question though is what are you excited to do? I can't tell you yet. It's a secret. <laughs> well, tell me, tell me if you're ex why you're excited to work with Andy. Tell me anything I've exciting. Meet. Natalie, we've got to meet. Like you are <laughs> yeah. a character. Um, I see your face a little better. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Hi. Hi. All right. <laughs> um, I think I've got, I've got some ideas for things like marketing services, transaction coordination services things like that, that I think we can do. I think there are some expansion opportunities that we can start to look at, um, other ancillary businesses that we can get in. Heritage Title is an example of that. So I'm one of the co-founding partners of Heritage Title. Um, that was uh, six of us got together from the beach to Winston-Salem and started that company. And it's been a great resource for agents and clients. So things like that as an example. And, and investment opportunities for our agents also. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. How did I do, Natalie? Well, I was I was hoping you'd speak to why you're excited to work with Andy. <laughs> so Andy, I walked in today and met him for the first time. I said, you're taller than I thought you would be. He said, I don't sound tall on the phone. I said, you don't sound short. You just don't sound tall. So um, I'm excited to, to work with Andy and get to know, get to know a lot of the folks here that I'm just that I'm just meeting, so. Fantastic. Thank you, Natalie. Do you approve? Thank you. <laughs> Sarah, Who else? So right now I'm just doing what I'm told. <laughs> and she tells me a lot. Um, but with what I've done, so I spent 13 years in the fitness world and then spent five years in the insurance world before going transition into real estate for myself. Um, one thing that I've always done in those previous two worlds in leadership is fast exponential growth. Um, whether it's growing teams, growing agents in the life insurance world, whatever the case may be. Um, th that's what I was trained to do back in 2015, beginning of 2015, um, had a lot of success at it, but I was just copying what I was told to do. Like these guys have created something that went from 15 to 285, something's gone right. So my idea is not really to come in and go, what can I shake up? What can I do? It's how can we just make that operate quicker? How can we go from 285 to 500 and do it in a shorter amount of years without neglecting people without, and still making people feel um, a part of something and at home and things like that, if that makes sense. Um, being my first month, I haven't really, there's nothing I've really said, but I can go, this is what I want to implement um, other than culture. Like one thing that I will say, this today is outstanding. You guys come in being present and coming to stuff like this, because here's what you have to understand. One thing that I'm really going to focus on um, is new agents are going to keep coming in here. They're going to keep coming to these meetings. And you have to ask yourself, what are they going to see when they walk in? Who are they going to see when they walk in? Are they going to see 17 people? Or are they going to see 117 people? Which one brings more energy? What is, what is your, what are you doing when, are you greeting? Are you you know, things like that. It's just a culture thing more than anything. Culture, everything else stems from culture. If And it could be your next business partner, right? 100%. Or, or your team member or your investment member. You know, there's just so many opportunities. Yeah. Um, so my focuses uh, are the reason that 
I think I was hired was number one, exponential growth, number two, culture. Um, not necessarily in that order, they can go simultaneous, but that's what I'm gonna focus on. That's what I'm gonna to try to excel at. And, but I need your help to do both. So you're a part of both of those. Anything else while I'm holding this? Tiny, tiny mic in my huge, huge hands. No? Thanks. <laughs> All right. Anything else before I bring the absolute best that I've saved for last? Kim, can you come up here for just a minute? We love you and we are glad you're alive. <laughs> Truly. And a part of our organization. And I know there's at least two things that you would like to add to this conversation real fast before we close it out. Thank you. Mike is, let you know that. is she getting a raise? <laughs> Give her a raise. Where's the bonus? Y'all are amazing. <laughs> Keep it coming. Um, thank y'all so much. Seriously. Um, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I just want to step in here as um, Heather and Ariel have allowed me to come and serve in a capacity where our team needed help, and that's what I'm doing. I'm helping, um, just so y'all know. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I am Kim Baber. I'm probably that person who you've seen on an email. Um, I was at the front desk, so you probably saw me there. Um, but I'm coming in to just help our team in a time where we needed help um, alongside Mary Holder. Um, so that's what we're doing back there in the office. We want to make sure you get paid priority, okay? So we are working hard every day to do that. Um, I just want to give you a quick friendly reminders to just make that process easier. You've heard us talk about an envelope. If you come in to drop your checks off, your commission checks in the office, please use the envelope that Jonathan has so greatly <laughs> put there beside the office in the corner where Ariel's office is. You'll see the black box or by the kitchen, the hallway where the kitchen is located, there's the black box. But the envelopes really, really help um, speed up the process because it just gives me information that I don't have to go search for. Um, so if you would just be so kind as to use that and then um, to make sure that your opportunity in KW Command is completed, obviously, and is compliant, that speeds up the opportunity, I mean, the um, procedure as well. So that way, again, we can get you paid. So when there's um, a hiccup there, we're gonna let you know. Mary and I will email you. Um, that's right, envelopes are in the Hillsboro office if there's a question about that. Um, Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, and again, this is just to kind of keep things smooth and in order where we don't have to stop and kind of track down things um, because I know everybody wants to get paid. We understand that. So we're just asking for your help in all of that. Any questions about those? And if you have a um, question about command, come see us. Um, we'll make sure if we can't help you, we'll point you in the right direction. So that way those things are um, ready to go because um, that's the most important part. You have to be compliant. Um, you know, if you have questions, I know Teresa's back there and she can help, I can help, Mary, Ariel, we'll, we'll make sure we help you. Um, the last, last thing I wanna say again is thank you to each and every one of you. Um, there's a couple of you that I just wanna say, um, we just love you even just because you made, made sure that Mary and I were fed. Um, Amy, Emily, Dylan, you know, you're out there. Um, there were days that we were just hunkered down because we knew that um, getting you paid was a priority. Um, and they made sure that we ate um, <laughs> per Ariel. She said, you have to eat. So um, to Ethiel, who jumped in one day and just helped us with emails because the inbox is full. Um, so just to let y'all know, I mean, I'm just being transparent, I guess, that we are trying to work through things um, as well. And she jumped in and helped there to Cindy, who just comes to the office to say, are you okay? Um, and then says, what can to be there every, exactly at the moment we need her every time, every time, <laughs> every time. So again, um, but thank you to all of you again, just for your patience, for your support. If you have any questions, please reach out. I will tell you the best way to send an email is to the mary.holder at kw.com. She gets those emails and can circle back with an answer or, Hey, we're going to work on this. So again, 
mary.holder at kw.com. That will get you in that inbox. <laughs> Fastest answer comes out of that one, <laughs> just FYI. So again, thank y'all. We absolutely love you and I appreciate you guys letting me step in and serve you in this role. Yes, yes. Kim, thank you so much. Um, Ethio, you asked how, how we can help continue making sure she eats. Um, I've had to kick her out of here at nine o'clock at night. Um, I've had to keep her out of emails at midnight. Um, so if you can just remind, remind her that in her uh, service to us that we would love for her to stay healthy too. All right, we will wrap it up. We'll be hanging around for a few minutes if anybody's got residual questions. Thank you so much, KWYPN. Um, union Home, don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Our Union Home ladies have their drawing. Any other cards need to go in? Last chance, last chance, last call. Last call, last call. All right. Yep, Cindy. All right, let's let her. What happened to my mic? Oh, there we are. Okay. So real quick. So has anybody ever heard of Little Pink Houses of Hope? So they, Janine Patton Coble was a client and she asked me and I couldn't say no. So I'll be dancing October 8th and I would love any support. So I'll be asking. So it's, it's a big deal and I'll be doing some fundraising and everything like that. So just, oh boy, he, I've got a really good choreographer, but I haven't met him yet. So we'll see. Well, if anybody can do it, I know that you can. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cindy. We look forward to seeing you. All right. Andy's going to draw. And this is for. And bags and goodies in them. Awesome. Two bags with goodies in them, Starbucks gift cards. Uh, Sarah Montrose. Whoop, whoop, Sarah Montrose. One more. Christy May. Christy May. Hey, Christy May. Thanks so much, everybody, for attending today. We will see you soon.